It was good, y'all. I'm exec prolific. And uh, recently, you know, designer just put out, a, you know, a preview of a new song of his. And, you know, it sounds good. It sounds like there's some promise to it. You know, it's just the fact that I don't think he has the work ethic to keep up with the demand of songs that I feel he should be putting out right now because of the fact that um, with Fetty Wap, Fetty Wap flooded the market so that when he had his year, because, you know, 2016 ain't nothing like what it was for in 2015 when he owned, pretty much, you know, had a strong lane in 2015. The reason why he owned 2015 so strong was because he had a slew of hits that he just kept putting out. And that's because he kept working on music constantly. You see now, Panda, I mean, Designer, he, you know, he had one song, and, you know, I said it before that, he had a meeting with uh, 50 Cent before he signed with Good Music. He had a meeting with 50, and 50 said that when he asked to hear other songs after Panda, he said he only has like one more song that he could let him hear. One, maybe two more songs. And, you know, that's unacceptable because in this day and age, you're supposed to be cranking out song after song so that you can sort through whatever you've done throw away the trashy songs and keep the best songs and then pick the best of the best and then put those very best songs out. That's how you're supposed to do it because, you know, a lot of people got home studios now. It doesn't cost that much, so it shouldn't be that hard to record. You just learn how to work this, that, and the third. And it's like, you know, him putting out this one record and making such a big deal of it, to me, you know, even though it's cool that he's doing that, I feel that he should just have a much bigger body of work that he has to work with so he can just put out more music consistently. Because since he has a song, it's like in the top five on the charts right now. Uh, I just checked. I think it's in the top five still. He should just be putting out hit after hit after hit. And all of them songs will be charting. He can have 10 songs in the top 100 like easily right now if he had you know, uh, enough music to put out there. Anyway, uh, you know, you up and coming rappers, man, take note, man. This The way Fetty Wap did it, by flooding the, the market with great music, not just mediocre, but great music, that's what you need to do if you ever get a chance to get on the Billboard charts. Anyway, leave a comment at the box below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, uh, at execprolific. You could also download the new podcast episode. There's just been a new one put up. You can download on uh, SoundCloud. And for all you rappers, we got hip hop instrumentals down below. You can click those links. And links to my social media also. Click those links. I'll talk to you later.